Gary from Ohio asks, when counterlooping, when should you contact the ball? Where on the ball should you contact it? And what angle should your blade be? Counterloop. When you say that this word, counterloop, that means you're gonna think a bigger stroke and more power, more spin. Sometimes no. If you practice counter loop, you have to start from a small motion, then try to a little bit bigger, then bigger. The timing, where's your sweet spot, you have to practice. So for myself, in front of my body here, that's my sweet spot. So the ball come to this area, I can loop the ball. Here's too late. Here's too early. So here, this area in my front of my body, this area is my best area to looping the ball. So the counter loop most time far away from the table. So the ball gonna bounce to this area. You're gonna wait or you have to run faster to catch the best spot. The counter loop, when you do the counter loop far away from the table, you don't have to use the full swing there. Still not use the full swing. Okay, just uh, 70, 80%. For example, my, my swing just like this big, and I go counter loop, I can go a little bit bigger like this. So just, uh, How's, uh, how to say it, just uh, turn your body a little bit more. There go this. No good, just save the ball. No good, save the ball. Got a chance. Quick, turn your body. When you do the counter loop, last time so the situation happens different. Most times uh, the timing always off. So how can you get a good timing? Lower your body, very important. Lower your body, aim to, when you catch the ball, aim to the white line. So first thing, if you're standing like this, that's hard to hit the ball harder. But lower your body, you're gonna lose room. Your front of your body lost room there, okay? So go, bam! So you can feel lost room here and the lost control. Lower your body, you're gonna find your space spot. Uh, so your movements, your motion, don't have to go full swing. 70, 80% swing, good enough. Uh, aim to here, the white line. Turn your body faster. The ball is supposed to be high quality, okay? So when you practice, try to remember it. Lower your body, not full swing, aim to here. And also your racket angle, when you move to, if you want, you got a chance to hit the ball harder, you have to close your racket angle face down more. Okay, for example, normal, when you loop like this, I, you got a chance to hit the ball harder close down a little bit more. So your racket angle like this. So face down all the time. Because you got time to, so don't worry, the ball won't go the net because you already have a good enough brush. Okay, face down more.
after you practice for a while, you're going to know where's your sweet spot at the racket angle. Okay? So, face down a little bit more and aim to here. And after you practice for a while, you, you ask me where's, where are you going to hit the ball on your racket? Uh, I want to say, I'm sorry, we, our racket only one sweet spot here, my forehand. Doesn't matter your smash, loop, counter loop, slow loop, and loop drive. Doesn't matter where your ball always stay here. If the ball comes here, you're going to miss. You can try. So it doesn't matter which which angle you're going to stay, you can, do, you can do backhand, backhand. So it doesn't matter where, loop drive and counter loop, the same spot here. So everything placing here. So you hit the ball always around this area because you only have one sweet spot on your racket, even your surf, okay? Counter loop, we have lots of different situations. First thing, the ball, the arc coming to this way, you have to hit the ball inside. You won't go outside, outside the ball go the other side. And the ball's coming heavy top spin, really heavy, your opponents have a really good power and spin. You have to hit the ball like this. Because if you hit the ball like this, the ball go out, okay? If your the ball coming this way is just a flat. Speed very fast. You have to hit the ball like here. Because you need a power and you need an arc to over the net. So you have to hit the ball like this. If he ball like a go this way, you have to try to hit the ball on the side. So it depends different situation. If you want to try everything, you'd better go to find the, the robot, it's better. You can set up different spin, different speed, and everything together. So uh, right now, it's really hard to tell you exactly where are you going to touch the ball, t on the top, on the bottom, or side. So different situations. Uh, so this one, that's really tough to answer. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, so you can go practice. Maybe you can get it.